I think actually this kicks open the door for at least three key arguments I think Republicans are going to make in the lead up to the election. One, that Obama has basically imposed a tax on the middle class. And if you listen to any of the talk today, that's been a lead argument. The second one is that, yes, it's constitutional, but it's bad public policy. And I think if you listen to Mitt Romney today, that was the centerpiece of his argument. I think the third piece of this, of course, I heard Michelle Bachman talk about this, which is that people are being forced to purchase health care and that this goes against fundamental freedoms, right? Your freedom to sort of not have health care if you don't want it. So I think, you know, from a political standpoint, it really kicks open the door um, for Republicans to make those arguments and, maybe, and to raise money on the basis of those arguments. And I think, you know, it's what it really is incumbent upon the, the president and the Democrats to do is to counter those arguments that that isn't exact, that isn't what's going on and that this is good public policy for the country. And you have already heard some people trying to counter it, likening it to, um, for example, the Social, Secu Social Security contributions right. we make and right. saying, well, you know, or um, I heard someone else saying it's uh, like when you pay taxes and, you know, if you don't have children, well, right. then you pay a different rate than someone who does have children. Right. So it wouldn't be... Right. Um, it will be likened to that. And I think if you look at these from a historical standpoint, you know, in the 1960s, Medicare was not popular. There were other programs that were not popular. But as people became, you know, got into these programs um, and realized the benefits they received from these programs, I think over time the popularity increased. And I think this health care plan has, you know, that kind of a potential to do that. There's certainly elements of the plan now that lots of people like, I think, would be pretty upset if they were stripped away from them. And so in that sense, I think it, it has the ability to grow on people. And I think over time, as people learn more about what exactly is in the plan, which is not really clear that people understand the plan very clearly. But I think, and, as, and also as they experience the benefits, I think the attitudes about it will evolve as well. And